Hey guys, how's it going? Kapan here. So, uh, yesterday I wanted to try to play some Priest, and I finally got a chance to play the exact Priest that I wanted to play. Here's the deck list. Um, since uh, League of Explorers was announced and I saw some of the cards, this is basically what I imagined myself playing. I wanted to make a deck that was super controlling, that had every single board clear possible, uh, at least in terms of the Priest cards, and I wanted it to have, uh, you know, Wild Pyromancer, so I could make use of all the spells that otherwise might not do anything. I just really, really, really want to play a ton of board clears because it's just so satisfying to kill all of your opponent's minions again and again and again and again, and the ones that survive, you take them. That's where the other aspect comes in, the Entomb. Uh, so this is the other card that I really, really wanted to play with, and uh, overall, both cards kind of performed as I expected. Excavated Evil just works pretty well. Uh, you can save it if you have a lot of other board clears that work, but otherwise you can use it. You can use two of them on the same turn. You can use it in conjunction with the Holy Nova for a little bit of extra board clear potential. This deck basically has no creatures, so Excavated Evil doing damage to your own creatures is an irrelevant aspect to it. And, uh, you know, the creatures that survive, the creatures that you really actually want yourself, you can just entomb them. And entomb becomes a very flexible removal, something that Priest actually didn't have with... Priest had really efficient removals, but they, they were usually very limiting based on the attack of the creature or just mana cost, in the case of Mind Control, for instance. So, I finally got to play the deck. Is it good? No, it's not really that good. Um, I had like 50% win rate at the end of the night, so absolutely nothing spectacular in any way, shape, or form. But I have to say that I've learned that there are certain decks, there are certain type of gameplays that I enjoy so much in Hearthstone. You know, some people realize that, you know, I like to win at games. I like to do better than rather than doing worse. But that's not the the absolute factor in my enjoyment in playing the game. You know, I've, I've played decks in the past, even I made videos about how I've got like 17, 18 wins in a row with specific decks I constructed. And then after I get 18 wins in a row, I just stop playing it and never play the deck again because, you know, I just kind of get a bit bored. But with this deck, I played just about as many games as that, and I only won half of them, which is really not that great if you're an experienced Hearthstone player. So... I actually had so much fun. It was an extremely enjoyable experience. It is definitely one of the most enjoyable decks that you can lose with. Um, and it's just really cool because there's so many satisfying aspects of the deck when it comes to interacting with my opponents. So in terms of that, I have to mention that this time, uh, last night in my ladder session, I had run into by far the most paladins I have ever run into. And we're talking about every single flavor of paladin. We had the mid-range, we had the secret paladins, we have the aggro paladins, we have the, the murloc paladins, we have the murloc aggro paladins. There's literally every single type of paladin that I absolutely managed to run into yesterday. And that matchup alone really made the most fun out of my ranked experience that I've had in quite some time. So today, I just wanted to show you guys that. You guys can see all the different flavors of Paladin, how this very obscure deck works in some situations and how it doesn't. As you can imagine, as a Paladin, having a whole deck worth of board clears, you'd imagine you do pretty well. Well, that's not necessarily the case. As it turns out, in Hearthstone, clearing the board isn't uh, the whole uh, scope of a win condition when it comes to uh, constructing a deck. So there's a lot of really cool things that I realized and I wanted to pass on that experience to you guys so you guys can share some of my most memorable moments in the game. So I'll leave you guys with that. Enjoy the clips. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys tomorrow. One inner fire and north shires. I don't really like north shires too much. I think the wild pyros are super valuable against paladin. Don't really want to waste them. Reporting for duty. Death does not scare me. Way too many board clears. Well, my guess is even with this many board clears, I'm still going to possibly lose against aggressive decks. So we'll see. 4K streaming. I mean, how many more pixels is that? None may steal. Oh, that's that's super weird. Ok, 
could heal. It's 10 health, so it's pretty nice. And uh, let's heal. It's literally double 1080p. Like 4K is literally double, right? It's just four times as many pixels. So to have an even acceptable quality stream in 4K, you need 14,000 kbps. What? To have a good quality, you need 52,000 kbps. It's like no fucking way, right? Who the hell can watch that? <laughs> like. 10% of the world, max. Nah, so, no, like, I, I could watch a stream like that, but it wouldn't be worth it. Oh, shit. Dude, I can anything can happen him before he hits me with it. Cause I went first. Put this apple on your head. Oh, that's bad. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Damn. Pyro Muster. No, I don't really like that play too much. I want to steal that. And I'm willing to take some damage in order to get a good steal. All right. Well, that sucks. I think my win rate in arena has been roughly the same forever. All right. Well, Let me change I'll take mind. it anyway. I don't give a shit if that dies. I mostly care if I die. It's fine. Attack with a weapon. Why? It's not like I'm gonna get another one. Yes, anything affects your opponent's murlocs as well. Someone said Max have died this game. You think it's a Reno deck? We'll see. I think it is a anything can happen OTK Paladin deck. Entomb the heal bot? Nah, we want to entomb Tyrion, guys. You guys are thinking small. Yeah, it's possible there's no Tyrion in the deck, yes. Some of these decks run equality, so... We'll have to see about that. Reporting for duty. Pretty weak, Consecrate. He's already played the one before, so he's got no more Consecrates. Ooh. Murlocs. Looks like lethal. 
Right? It's two charging murlocs and a grimscale oracle. So it's three, three, and then that's three plus three, that's six. That's twelve damage. GG! <laughs> Um, I'll keep a thought still, I think. We have enough board clears, we don't need to keep a Holy Nova. That game was rage inducing. Uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll have some more rage inducing games. Reporting for duty. Yeah, okay. We don't have a board clear yet, so if he has a good answer and gets a big minion, we just cost ourselves the game. But those are really big ifs. Generally, those are not ifs that, that happen. Follow the rule. Oh, come on. Reporting for duty. Oh, is he sick of these? Equality Consecrate? Alright. Damn. Nah. It's just annoying shit, mostly. If we want to shut out his damage, we should just entomb the piloted shredder. But this guy's running Tyrion for sure, right? So we have to keep that in mind. Well, let's just go with the Murloc. Guess that's it. I'll probably heal myself. Two face damage is not worth anything. Oh, that's worth something. Oh, uh, the faith is going in my light, unfortunately. Thank you. Okay. I dream. That's a problem. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. Feel my pain. So he did uh, kill two Death Lords of the Equality Consecrate into Doctor Boom, into Tyrion, into Ysera. Do I value an Anoyatron or six face damage? That's okay. Reporting for duty. Yeah, I, I mean, I drew Entomb afterwards. I couldn't Entomb you sort of that turn. Reporting for duty. 
reporting for duty. Quartermaster? Oh my god. That's a problem. I need a board clear right now. Let me change your mind. My shield for Argus. Am I just dead to nightmare? Nightmare, nightmare. What? Well played. Clearly not enough board clears. If I had another board clear, I would think I would have won, despite a 17 attack Lepernome. <laughs> Fine, I'll keep the powered shield. Uh oh. Is it going to be the god mode, leper gnome, into juggler, into muster, into double juggle, kill the death lord, into Tyrion? Because if it is, I have a YouTube video. Uh-oh. Uh well, that was bad. I think I'd rather save that for the Akunai. All one health. Fine. Probably a mysterious challenger then. Mm. The light protects me. It's looking pretty good so far. The light protects me. I can take that one as well. Another owl. Face. Let me change your mind. Obey. Face face, I guess, but isn't he dead? No, oh, no, he's at one. Well, I can't actually kill him. I was at three now, actually. Okay, well, I will take that one too. Fucking crap. What is that? I feel like you might have a war leader. Oh god. 
Oh god. Mostly doing this. He's got to play war leader. Okay, like we're we're in bad shape right now. Oh. oh fuck. Ah oh, yes. Fuck your shitty ass Murlocs. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's just excavate it evil here. Well played. We're like cleansing the plague right now, dude. Holy shit. Alright. Well, the plague has been cleansed. He basically has to top deck divine favor like now. Reporting for duty. I'm amazed he's still playing. It only took two death doors and three board clears. I know, right? No big deal. I guess. I'm playing this now because it'll never be better than this, and if I hold it, I make a Divine Favor play much stronger. Okay. Okay, let's let's sacrifice some things here. Okay. The reason I wanted to kill off Murlocs is because if he has uh, everything can happen, I don't want him to get any that. Oh fuck me. No war leader, no war leader, no war leader. Okay, we're still okay, we're still alive. Still alive, still alive, still alive! No! Bullshit! What? We still lost? Oh my god. I intentionally killed off Murloc. I guess I shouldn't have played the new Murlocs, right? If I didn't play the Murlocs, he, you know, he still would have killed me. He would have had exact lethal if I didn't play any Murlocs. I had to holy fire the one one or some shit like that. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he had so many bad Murlocs. It was so unlikely that he'd get like old Murkai plus Chargers plus War Leader, but fucking a, he did. Holy shit, dude. The plague is not cured. I mean, he, he has an excavated evil, so this, this might not work out all that well. Polymorph. I guess excavated evil is his last card then. That was pretty good RNG. Is that lethal? 2-5-4. That is lethal. Nice. I'm just 
keep a shadow madness. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty poor play, but... Oh. Okay. Sir Finley Mergleton. It's pretty cool. Love and life is really low against this deck, but I have Death Lords and Holy Fires. Oh, that's bad. It's really bad. What's worse than anything is I can't kill that except with Entomb, which is not good enough. Oh, crap. Thing is, I don't want another hero power, but I really need a creature. Let me get that. I think he's got me, honestly. Ned Jeeves is so ridiculous. Like, four cards here, I don't think I can do anything. Yeah, if I play the Justa card and it just dies, which it definitely will, I just lose the game. Can I help you, sir? That's so ridiculous. Jeeves into Jeeves. I need a Cabal Shadow Priest is what I need. Actually no, Cabal doesn't even work. Fine. Complaining about a terrible card like Jeeves. Well, I just played against Aggro Druid. He was down to one card. The card was Innervate. He drew Jeeves into another Jeeves. And I had no answer for either. That's that's pretty insane, actually. Oh my god. Let me get that. Exact nine mana once again. Literally disgusting. Savage Roar number two. There it is. Perfect draw. He went from no chance to... Basically no chance to lose. With his RNG. Yeah, I got really wrecked there. 